Well, the International Crime Victim Service was carried out for the first time in 1988 in 13 countries, including Germany. Since that time, the surveys have been repeated five times in intervals of four to five years. All in all, in the context of the ICVS, the International Crime Victim Survey, more than 400,000 persons in 80 countries all over the planet have been interviewed. In my short presentation this morning, I would like to try to use the ICVS data to explain why the burglary rates in Germany have declined less than in the UK or in the Netherlands, so a very specific topic. In the UK, due to, uh, by the police, the um, burglar proofness of um, residential units have been actively propagated and supported due to the nationwide certification program secured by design. In the Netherlands, since the mid-80s, the installation of basic um, burglar safety measures in residential units has also been supported actively by the central government. In 1999, general directives and guidelines related to the burglar proofness of uh, residential areas have been included into the construction regulations and are compulsory for all new buildings. My colleague, Mr. Ben Follard from the Tilburg University, has evaluated the results of the Dutch National Victim Survey in order to investigate into the impact of these new construction regulations into the burglary rate. He compared the burglary rates of uh, older buildings with the ones of newer ones that have been equipped with the new safety uh, equipment. His evaluation shows that the risk of a burglary in the case of new buildings had been reduced by 50% even if the influence of various external factors had been included into the analysis. Additional evaluations did show no hint regarding the effect that buildings in other parts of the cities or displacement of burglary took place or that other forms of theft took place. Based on the conclusions of the different authors, nearly a fifth of the decline of burglary rates in the Netherlands can be uh, is caused by the new construction regulations, and uh, the res this is the result. The installation costs, which are one-off costs, uh, are clearly lower than the use of uh, avoided burglary damage in later years. The cost for the new safety devices can be evaluated at about 433 euros per building. The use is about 780 euros per building over a period of 30 years. The decisive um, key to verify the impact of safety measures on the burglary rate is the question whether the national trend in the burglary victimization rates can be anticipated by the quote in basic uh, safety measures. In other words, uh, is it worthwhile to support, financially support, um, active measures against burglaries in s some countries and has that a positive impact on the burglar rates in the subsequent years. The repetition of the ICVS in the years 2005 and 2010 has given us the possibility to get an empirical answer to that question. In 2005 and 2010, the ICVS was carried out only in eight European and Northern American countries, in Canada, Denmark, England, Wales, Estonia, Germany, in the Netherlands, Sweden, and in Switzerland. Fortunately for us, there are major differences between these eight countries. They seem to be very similar in some respects, but they differ clearly with regards to the 
anti-theft and anti-burglary measures that were in place in these countries in the year 2005. Therefore, the data enables us to empirically test uh, the hypothesis that uh, anti-burglar measures have a clear effect. So we can look at the link between the existence of safety measures at a point in time one in the year 2005 and the changes in the burglary rates between the points in time one and two, which is the year 2010, we can verify these different changes and the next table shows the most important results. What you can see here is that the the trend of burglary rates between 2005 and 2010 have developed in different ways in these uh, eight countries. In England, Wales, in the Netherlands and in Canada, the rates have clearly declined. In Germany and Sweden, they show a more or less stable trend. And in Estonia, Denmark and Switzerland, the burglary rates have gone up. And there is a clear correlation between the use of anti-burglar measures in these countries and the trend in the burglary rates. And these results are graphically shown in, on, on this slide. This clearly shows the statistically significant uh, relationship between the use of anti-burglar measures and protective measures in the year 2004 or 2005 and the change in the burglary rates between the years 2004 and 2010, which were our reference years. Over that period of time, the burglary rates have gone down in the countries with the largest uh, spread of these uh, anti-burglar measuring activities. And in those countries where anti-burglar measures have not been rolled out, they s have shown a stable trend, they stayed at the same level or even went up. As shown here, the use of uh, the reduction of um, uh, burglars due to anti-burglar measures uh, has our lower costs than the actual cost for damage in burglars. It, we can clearly conclude that the active promotion of anti-burglar measures um, in the UK and the Netherlands has um, improved the general welfare and well-being of people and that it's the population of Germany, Sweden, Estonia, Switzerland and Denmark that pay the price for a laissez-faire attitude of their governments at the safety market. So it is very important, ladies and gentlemen, to take action in the field of, of prevention.